Full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, what's your status? Corellium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure, but the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Thank <laughs> you. 
She's here! It's worth.
Hmm. Nova, come. in with R.I.P. the last couple of days? Why? One of my men escaped a ripper camp that tortured like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men. The ripper called them mongrels. You ask me, you got a price on your head. You know same as me. Anything that happens here is far better than what's going on out there. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Levels are still a constant threat, 
with players having to manage the time remaining on their gas mask filters in addition to their other resources. Scavenging for chemicals and materials that can be used to craft equipment and ammunition, therefore, is a must, and you'll be immersed within a world that constantly demands your attention in order to survive. As with any Metro title, Exodus places the onus on the player to choose how they progress. It's possible to play this entire level without killing a single human being, or if subtlety isn't your style, you can adopt a take-no-prisoners approach. Regardless of ethics and playstyle, however, there will always be a need to infiltrate areas with a level of discretion. Stealth, therefore, plays a significant role in Metro Exodus. With the ability to modify weapons in the field, players can customize their setup depending on the situation at hand. The flexible Kalash can quickly transform from long-range to close-quarters configuration, and with the right upgrades, the basic three-shot revolver can be turned into a silenced, six-chambered and deadly accurate handgun. Crouching and sticking to the shadows will reduce your chances of being discovered by enemies. The blue stealth indicator on your wrist will glow when you're at risk of being seen. Interacting with the environment around you is also key. Extinguishing torches and creating a distraction by throwing tin cans to confuse enemies as to your whereabouts, allowing you to get close and execute a silent kill. Enemies will try to hunt you down as the game transitions into a frenetic action-oriented shooter. Upon finding Anna, it's clear the effect of radiation in an enclosed environment has taken its toll. Artyom will need to find a way to open the doors in order to get out in time before the gas mask filters run out. One of the key new aspects of gameplay in Metro Exodus is the dynamic weather system and a day-night cycle that offers tactical opportunities. At the midway point in the level, Artyom must steal a train carriage to add to the Aurora so that they can transport the additional survivors that have joined the Spartan ranks. With the darkness of nighttime and the storm providing cover, players will want to whittle down the large number of bandits on guard one by one, as they keep to the shadows in a stealth assault this was just one brief stop on an epic journey across post-apocalyptic Russia. Metro Exodus offers a world of stunningly rich environments to traverse and explore, new and overhauled gameplay mechanics and unsurpassed attention to detail. For fans of the series and newcomers alike, the gripping next chapter in Artyom's story promises countless hours of tense and exciting exploration ahead. Screw 
through your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice, I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads take me home. When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we tell us? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! The gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back in the car so we can talk science. Uh. 
Give me now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I do! What the?
wolf. She came through here. Double back. Go. Captain. Hey, Paige, bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredients to good cooking mm, is love.
was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear. No failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival. Getting shot at? All the time. world, and ultimately the outcomes of their adventures. There's also word of Spartans landing on Mykonos. So, I'm here to find Kira, who wants me to kill Diocles. An Athenian ally. Who's at war with Sparta? And don't forget the bounty! Business as usual, then. <laughs> Gods protect you, Cassandra. Thanks, Varnavas. But they'll be too busy protecting Diocles from me. Mercenary. This can't be good. We've crossed paths with another mercenary hunting Cassandra. I'll be rich. By killing mercenaries such as Malios, you can ultimately become the most famous and fearsome mercenary of ancient Greece. Just one of the many side stories of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The outcome of these battles, as well as your choices in the game, will have dramatic impacts and shape the future of Greece. <laughs> found the Athenian hero, Diocles. Quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized for every player, so the entire community will experience them at the same time. Great. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Sportsathon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. And while they head off, to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Fort Asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Global extinction event. 80% of the Earth's population dead. God turned his back on humanity long ago. It wasn't a war. It wasn't global warming. It was a fucking asteroid. I was born in this shithole. Parents murdered, an orphan of this wasteland. An army of mutants killed everyone I ever loved. All that's left is hate, fear, and the need for survival. You see, part of growing up was watching everything get taken from me. I stood by, did nothing, and now, I'm the last ranger of this wasteland, and there's only one thing left to do!
Hello, E3, and welcome to the world of Rage 2. In a moment, we'll dive headfirst into the Eden Spaceport mission, where Walker, our main protagonist, is out to find a rare artifact that will aid him in his quest to take down the Authority. I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes, I forgot to say. It might be overrun by bandits. The Goon Squad, to be precise. You must likely slay them first, before pulling down the Ecopod from orbit and securing the untainted nanotrites therein. Space Center. Keep your wits about you, Walker. The Goon Squad may look whimsical, laughable even, but believe me, behind their playful appearance, they are very, very dangerous. on the wall. It's motion sensor activated. Is the rocket the crusher talking at acting? And it can be yours while they last. Rage. Walker's gonna get a bit of a boost today. Just like the doc said, the be a problem. Oh shit! Oh hell yeah!
Spencer! Time to get to work! Faye said these bastards made some kind of asset they're using it as a weapon. So, find where they're making this garbage and shut it all down. There's a shaker relic. Wait, something's odd. Get a closer look, would you? You see those radiant pieces of energy? They're echoes from the Anthem of Creation. Turn them to the relic. You've got to silence it fast. They say I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable, die hard. True sickness, put this mic on the tripod, but I'm not chow. Gun fat, dig up, still a pillar of stone. Flows into your skull. Mash on your whole militia like a cannibal. Imagine you the antelope, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal stamina. Just think about a man on the brink of his sanity. And it's me, you not a rap sword. And these poems post to arsenic. Every madly, deadly comes from the be. It's in you, this is me, and MC, that's all we know, the powers that be, this is you, it's in me, and MC, that's all we know, the powers that be, this is you, it's in me. Quando eu era criança, sempre sonhei em tornar-me um campeão. É preciso determinação e vontade de vencer. Até mesmo nos momentos mais difíceis, Tu tens de continuar a acreditar. Esta é a tua oportunidade de te mostrar ao mundo. Tu és um campeão.
but yeah, it looks like they like work like yes, that, like they like they swarm. They're not they're not just five hundred uh, kind of independent individuals. They respond as a swarm, um, and so they will move and flow uh, not just with. The, I mean, when they see you, they'll move towards you the best way they can. But if there's a wall in the way, they'll pyramid up and try and get over the top of each other and and over the edge. Um, but uh, also, a lot of them, if you shoot them and they collapse in front of you, the ones behind will just trample over the top of them. Just so, to get to you. Exactly, just to get to you. And I can tell you, when you're standing there and the only thing you've got is a, a you've run out of primary uh, ammo and you've just got your silenced pistol and you've got 300 <laughs> zombies coming towards you, it's pretty damn scary. Yeah. Well, that's that's going to be me, obviously, because I'm never, I've never been very accurate. I've always been a, a, a spray and pray kind of guy. Yeah. But thankfully, you said there's a myriad of weapon choices, so yes. I can be the heavy guy. Yes, you can. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not well, just the heavy guy. But there's, uh, <laughs> we've got character development, so you've got progression. You, uh, I mean, as you build up experience, you can develop your character. You specialize in a class. You have a skill okay. tree. You've got weapon progression as well, so you're customizing your weapons and building up on that. Um, so there's just so much room for growth in the game. Can you tell us more about the characters that he's player yeah. created, or these uh, specific characters specific. that you've written? Yeah, so we've written these characters. We've put a lot of thought into their backstories. Um, we try. What I like so much about the book is uh, there's a lot of normal people who, who survived in the war because of characteristics they already had. We've gone down the same route. So in the New York episode that we're demoing, you've got uh, Arnetta Larkin, who uh, was a uh, she's a woman. She's doing uh, cable rigging for a power company. Thank you.